For my first official meal of the day, I made some steel cut oats with tons of cinnamon and turmeric and I just make oats with water and then I added some sweet agave nectar. I would like to add bananas normally but I just had agave nectar today and then I added some vanilla almond milk on top because I feel like I can taste the flavor more when I pour it over and then just some flax seeds and blueberries. Oats are just my favorite breakfast because they do keep me full and satisfied for so long. Did my laundry I went to the bank and got some stuff sorted out there with my debit card and I'm gonna put everything away my friend Elena is coming over for lunch so I'm gonna cook her something really sweet and special she just moved to New York so I wanted to do something cute for her but I'm gonna run in the shower after I put my clothes away and maybe do some ab exercises before that cuz like I'm trying to get some abs. I have a photo shoot on Monday for this underwear company. So I'm just like doing a crash course of trying to tighten and tone everything up in time. So I'm gonna do ab exercises for the next three days until the photo shoot and hopefully there's some difference made. But yeah, I'm gonna put my clothes away and that's the update and this is my closet right now. Someone asked for an update on my minimalism and I'm not minimalist anymore. <laughs> Anytime I come back from traveling, I feel like I get rid of so much stuff and I realize how little I need to survive and I'm not worrying about fashion or what I look like. But the longer that I stay in one place, it's just so much easier to collect a bunch of items and there's so many thrift stores in New York, so it just happens. But I have been constantly donating and anytime I buy stuff, I donate it back to the thrift store. So I'm just recycling and upcycling thrift store pieces and I really like that flow of things but I do have yes an abundance of clothing items in my closet so I'm gonna have fun layering this fall but when I go to India I'm sure I'm gonna come back and just be like okay I'm getting rid of everything I don't energetically align with it anymore um, yeah that's the update on that I'm wearing a really basic outfit because I didn't want to wear clothes this morning but obviously I have to go in the world with clothes on so I just threw on random stuff that's the tea that is the tea. Instead of folding it, I've been trying to hang up more things because in this book that I read about the art of decluttering, she said it's so much better to hang everything up because when you fold piles of clothes, they often just fall over and it just gets really messy and when you try something on, you just want to throw it back in the pile rather than folding it nicely. So I have been using the method of hanging everything up, even t-shirts, because it's just going to help you out much better in the long run. So. I love color coding. It brings me peace to an otherwise chaotic world. It also blows my mind that the colors that we see aren't all the colors that are actually there in the world. Like, we don't see every single color that there possibly is, and there are other animals that can see different kinds of color or just hear different sounds. I think the sound thing blows my mind even more because there's so many noises that we can't hear all the time and my friend Mary V showed me this video of like a mushroom singing and it was the sound that a mushroom makes I forget what kind but they put some kind of like radar sticker thing on it and it was making the most beautiful sound and I was like wow I wonder if animals can hear that noise and same thing with um, sea creatures like dolphins they have that sonar radar thing I'm probably not saying that right I just think that's really cool like we do have a spectrum of sound and color that we can hear but it's not all that's out there there's so much more and that just makes me feel alive you know what I mean it just excites me it really gets me going and I love mysteries I love dinosaurs as I'm sure a lot of you guys know and like mythological sea creatures and I try not to <laughs> buy into the programs on aliens like there's this one show that was all about aliens and then I realized how fake it was but 
at one point I was so into it. I know that there's definitely aliens out there, but I just feel like they're very far away and science even says that it's very likely that there are other living beings on other planets, but they're way out of our solar system and we may never come in contact with them at all. But I'm really into just underwater sea creatures at the moment. That is my ish. I just love learning about the deep sea creatures that are like fluorescent and so beautiful and kind of creepy and I like the theories about the kind of species that live down there and they estimate that there are like probably thousands of species that we don't even know exist yet in the deep layers of the ocean in the Mariana Trench so that is really exciting man but they showed a map of what the planet earth will look like in a million years and they can predict what tectonic plates are going to shift and what land masses will come together and it's just so different than what it is now and oh that's just crazy. This earth is alive and anytime there's an earthquake or a tsunami or a hurricane, you really realize the power of this earth and how small we are on it. And it just, ooh, it like seems so destructive and chaotic in our life. We're just like, oh my God, all of our buildings are broken down and people pass away and it becomes really dangerous. But it's also the earth just doing what the earth does and what it has been doing for billions of years. And, ah. Uh, that's just nature, man. It's speaking to us all the time. But yeah, I was just thinking about how how crazy that is. And there have been a lot of natural disasters happening in the past year. And there's like nothing you can do about it. We're little ants on this big earth in this huge solar system in this gigantic universe. So I don't know. But I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Maybe after my shower. I'm so oily right now. I'm an oily skinned queen. I'm a dewy girl. <laughs> but um, I don't mind. I don't mind. So I'm going to wash my face and shower and everything. See you guys soon. So it's lunchtime now and I'm gonna make a really yummy meal which I probably normally wouldn't make unless it were for green chefs. They have so many different meal options for your preference. They have paleo, vegan, carnivore, omnivore and I just feel like they help you get out of your comfort zone and cook stuff that you wouldn't normally cook and my absolute favorite is getting to cook for friends so I have two <laughs> homies here today awkwardly Hello. watching me film Ashley and Elena and I think <laughs> Elena's gonna help me cook. Yes, yes. Every ingredient is thoughtfully sourced and its journey from planting to plating is tracked and each recipe comes with pre-made sauces and dressings and spices so let's get into it. I love cooking on camera. The last time I cooked for my boyfriend that was really fun and so let's just get into it. We're cooking this today by the way. They gave me three meal options. All of them look so amazing. 35 minute cook time like that's perfect. That's good. <laughs> Thanks Green Chef. Yeah. <laughs> See it brings people together. This is what food does. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay so this is rice. YouTube videos. <laughs> Oh, this is, I love this. You just have the recipe right here. Not only is this meal wholesome, but cooking with friends ah. is so wholesome. <laughs> okay, what do we have to chop? I'm glad we have like two sister yeah. knives right now. <laughs> and it is so nice to just like have all the ingredients already planned out because I get so overwhelmed at grocery stores still. Like, I love cooking, but it can get messy too. Yeah, that's what I'm learning about living in a city is that it's so much more difficult to cook because it's yeah. so hard to get the accurate groceries to your house. Yeah, if you live in a city and want a yes, yummy meal helps. and not have to take two trains and 45 minutes yeah. each way, <laughs> I'm just I saying. Mean. I feel like that's the most relatable thing <laughs> yeah. ever. Like, sometimes I just feel like a little bean, you know? All right. Over the years and I really thought we know how to do it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Perks of being tall! Beans. I want to enter into the world of like spices. I know, me too. Comment down below your favorite dressings because yes. I will be so happy. I need to get more excited to eat salad. Oh my gosh, so. yeah. Wow, this is so fun. I've never done this with beans before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My arms are also kind of skinny. Yeah. If you want $50 off your first Green Chef meal, you can go to greenchef.us slash hitomi. It'll be the first link in the description. And maybe you can make something really yummy. I just support you listening to your body. And I think that you'll find whatever you're looking for on their site. So, very true. Check it out. <laughs> wow. Okay, I love this paper packaging, but these mushrooms look so uh, yeah. lovely. They're delightful. The food looks so fresh, which mm -hmm. is... 
like kind of pleasantly surprising. I know. <laughs> you wouldn't expect it. I don't know why I wouldn't expect it. Considering it goes through the mail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. oh this this God. feels like ASMR. It's like squish. Like, can we do it? ASMR. I get a good little. Do people like the squish? <laughs> now they hate it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it makes you feel <laughs> capable as hell. I'm like, damn. Look at me go. Maybe this bean paste. <laughs> bean paste. <laughs> tortillas and heating them up in the pan and then we're gonna spread the lovely bean paste all over it. This is so exciting. Like it's you so should good. definitely make this at home because these beans are already tasting amazing. Prime. And just season them however you want and then you can make your own healthy yes. quesadilla with no cheese and no vegan cheese because sometimes it's easy to eat like so much fake cheese and fake products yeah. that it doesn't really make your body feel so good even though it's vegan. So I really like to take three mindful breaths into my tummy every time okay. I eat because it really helps digestion. Cool. I like that. I was doing very nice. I felt so much like crazy energy yeah. and I just really felt cool. very centered. <laughs> and I feel a lot of times when I like have a meal I just like dig in right away and don't yeah. fully like appreciate it but I'm like, have a decent chance of getting it right. Mmm, <laughs> this is so good. That's amazing. This is like delicious. And then for dinner, I had some pizza from Screamers Pizza. I'm not quite sure which one this was, but it was really good. Definitely a downgrade from my relatively healthy day, but sometimes you just need to have a slice of pizza. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want $50 off of your first order from Green Chef, go to greenchef.us slash hitomi, the first link in the bio.